Your grocery store options, they may change soon if a multi-billion dollar merger between Kroger and Albertsons is approved. This morning, Kroger announced some plans to acquire Albertsons. Our Nick Starling explains what this all means for you. Typically, when mergers happen, there's concerns over what this may mean for consumer prices, especially at a time when inflation is impacting all of our wallets. It's certainly an exciting time for the Kroger family. In a recorded video message, Kroger CEO Roddy McMullen sells the merger as a win for consumers. Together, we will serve America with fresher, affordable food faster. But some shoppers aren't sold. I don't like that because uh, Kroger's is less expensive than Albertsons and Tom Thumb. Madeline Harris worries the deal could be a deal breaker for her wallet. The prices of groceries have gotten ridiculous. She is not wrong. Newly released consumer price index numbers for DFW show the cost of food is up a whopping 14% since last year. Even still, others believe the merger could be a good move. I like Kroger's, so I think it'll be a great idea for them to merge. If they can keep both stores open, keep them going, I'm all for it. A UT Arlington finance professor says companies merge for two reasons, survival and ganging leverage. And the payout usually comes in the long run. Um, sometimes better bargaining power with vendors, sometimes better pricing power with customers, unfortunately. For customers and uh, sometimes it's economies of scale. We, we have way too many stores. We probably don't need that many. He says it's likely the move could mean some stores will close, affecting mid-sized to smaller cities, limiting your options. But overall, he believes the impact would be minimal. So HEB coming in would provide better choice, um, especially in light of this merger. This isn't a done deal yet. This first has to get approved by the U.S. antitrust regulators. If approved, this deal is expected to be finalized in 2024. In Fort Worth, Nick Starling, CBS 11 News. So a long road ahead to actually get this done, but if this nearly $25 billion deal is approved by the regulators, it would make Kroger the second largest grocery store chain in the nation, just behind Walmart. And locally, we'd see about 200 extra Kroger stores across North Texas.